Hey, what's going on everybody? And today I'm going to be showing you how to turn your Fallout 4 from this into this. And it's only going to take a handful of mods that are all pretty performance friendly. So stay tuned. Now for starters, it's really important to note that there are a lot of things you can do with Fallout 4's graphics. However, today's video is going to be focused specifically on being performance friendly. Using this mod setup, I get a very consistent frame rate that is anywhere from 80 to 144 frames per second. So while I know the extent of what Fallout 4 modding can do to make this game look great, again, today's focus is on performance friendly, people with lower NPCs or even people playing on Xbox. So let's go ahead and dive in with what you're going to need first. So the first mod that we're going to need for today's setup is another green mod with LOD by Voss80. Now, technically you could run just about any green or landscape mod that you'd like here, but for the purposes of this video with trying to be as performance friendly as possible, this is a great option. It is super well optimized, pretty lightweight despite having a hefty download, and you're going to see a really good performance while using this. It has a definitely drastic contrast to the vanilla wasteland with a nice green touch to everything, but it's not going to hit your frames very hard. You'll add some leaves to trees, you'll have a nice light blanket of green grass, and it's not too overgrown for those of you who don't like that. Now I myself do like an overgrown commonwealth, but this is a really nice balance if you're trying to get the most bang for your buck with the least amount of frame loss. Another huge positive with this mod is it does have LOD generation, so your far off lands are going to be green and match the green mod that you're using rather than having the vanilla textures over them. This also keeps all of the pre-combines intact, so whenever you're using this, you are not going to have any broken areas that are going to have a significant frame drop. So this is really an all-around very good green mod, and I really like the aesthetic of it. It's nice and tame. After all of these years, you would see some greenery start to grow back in the Commonwealth, and I feel like this is a pretty good representation of it. Now this next mod here is optional as it doesn't cover a whole lot of area, but it is a nice touch for those of you who want a little bit more green out of your wasteland, again, without too much of a frame drop. So we're going to be checking out Luxor's Greenery 2K by Luxor8071. Now this is going to be a PC exclusive mod, but it is only going to cover a little bit so Xbox users aren't missing out on a ton. This is going to add some new green textures for certain plants throughout the Commonwealth, like different vines, ivy patches, flowers, and even some of the stuff floating around in the marshlands. All this is going to do is add some new bright green textures to match any green mod that you're running along with this, just in case those ones happen to forget to cover some of these other plants. There's nothing worse than running a completely green overhaul and then running into some dead brambles that are just really out of place, especially those hedges and sanctuary. This mod makes sure to cover those. So if you're running a green mod that doesn't, this one is going to have you covered. Again, this one's totally optional, but it's a nice lightweight way to add some more greenery and color to your Commonwealth. A lot of these flowers have some new bright petals like reds and blues and purples. So it's really nice to have a little bit of contrast out there rather than just a lush green landscape. Now you've got some other stuff to look at too. So now that we have our landscape covered, it's time to go check out the water. You can't have a nice looking landscape with really gross vanilla water. So for today's list, we're checking out Wasteland Water Revival by Feowin. This is going to add some brand new water to the game that's going to have a variety of different color options. For the aesthetic I'm going for, I'm using the Zen Master water set, but you can choose whichever version you like. There's really not much more to it. This is just a nice water overhaul. The water looks great. You can choose any color option you like, and you can actually use this to create some really cool different load orders. In the future, if I plan to do any toxic overhauls or desert overhauls, this is definitely one I'm going to be revisiting because of the amount of variety you can choose from in the installer. Definitely a really cool mod worth checking out, and it's on PC as well as Xbox. Now, the next mod is definitely going to have the biggest impact on the way that our Fallout looks. And that's going to be NACX Legacy Edition by Looping. Now, if you're not familiar with NACX, this is a mod that is going to essentially add a EMB style to your game without actually having an EMB. Altogether, what this mod actually does is overhaul the modular weather system. It has brand new lighting and visual effects, and all of these things are customizable in game, so you can really tweak it to your liking. The biggest reason that we'll be picking this mod up for this list is for the lighting overhaul that it does, adding some new realistic lighting into Fallout 4 without the cost of an EMB. This is definitely going to be your most performance friendly solution, and you also get the bonus of having a bunch of new weathers and different aesthetics that you can run into out in the wasteland. This does change the tone of the game quite a bit, but again, all of these options are customizable in the newly added menu. Additionally, if you decided you were to run an EMB, this actually does have support for it, so you can run both at the same time. And surprisingly enough, this mod is also on Xbox, meaning that you can have all of the mods mentioned previously aside from Luxor's Greenery, and you can create this exact setup on Xbox as well as PC. 
and this is definitely going to be the best tool that you have here. Even if you install all of the mods before and you're not too happy with the tone of your game, you can tweak it with NAC, go through the different lighting options, and even set the different color scales so that this can look just how you want it. This is definitely going to be the biggest tool in your arsenal when it comes to deciding exactly how you want Fallout 4 to look without risking too much in the terms of frame rate. Now that being said, we do have even more mods that we can check out to make our load order look even better. This next one is a pretty small little ambience mod and that is Fireflies by C. Dante. This is simply going to add some fireflies out in certain areas that are really only going to show up in the evening time, but it really helps to add a little bit to the world. Definitely nice to see some more stuff to look at and have a little bit of color popping and it just definitely makes this world feel a little bit more alive. To be fair, when you're running around in the wasteland, you shouldn't only be seeing rad roaches and bloatflies. There would be lots of different bug wildlife out there, and fireflies is a really cool inclusion, especially in this part of the US. Given Fallout 4's radiation, these guys are extra bright and super green, which make for some really cool visuals and definitely make the night sky a little bit more vibrant and just add a little bit of character to your game. Totally optional, but definitely really cool and a wonderful mod by C. Dante. Now with all of these mods together, we have a pretty good looking Fallout 4. That being said, there is one more thing we can do to take it a step further. If you are on PC and you think you can handle a small ENB, there is one that we can add in here that is going to improve the lighting and add a little bit more realism to the world around you. That's going to be Luxor's ENB by Luxor. This is going to actually make use of NAC Legacy Edition, which we already have downloaded in this list. And again, it's just going to add some better shadows and better lighting and change the tone and color just a little bit, but overall, it's definitely going to be worth it, and I don't see much of a performance loss while using this EMB. I have played around with a handful of EMB presets, and this is definitely the best one that I've played with both visually and when it comes to performance. I highly recommend trying this one out, even if you're on a lower end PC, and at the end of the day, if it doesn't work out for you, you can always uninstall it. But it's definitely worth trying just to see what your game looks like and see if your PC can handle it. I entirely went into this video intending not to use EMBs whatsoever, but I gave this one a shot, and my frame rate is just fine, and I really like the aesthetic that this preset brings in. Combined with all of the green mods that we're using and the water that we're using, this looks great. I really like the depth of field changes included in this as well. Really, it makes for an immersive style of gameplay, and I really enjoy it. And this is an EMB that I even find usable in combat. Definitely a wonderful overhaul, and I think really helps to complete this build. But it's optional. You could run this build without it, and it'll still look just fine. So with that, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this load order works out for you, and I hope that it makes your game look better and helps to improve your Fallout 4 experience overall. This was definitely a fun little thing to build. Let me know if you'd like to see something like this in the future, maybe tackling other styles. Maybe instead of focusing on performance in the future, we can try different aesthetics like a desert, winter, or even irradiated biome. It'd be really fun to try out different styles, and I love playing around with Fallout 4 mods, so let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see something like that. In the meantime, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to drop a rating, subscribe if you haven't already for more videos just like this, and I hope to see you in the next one. Peace! And really quick, I'd like to make a shout out to all of our patrons. Your donations are greatly appreciated and really help to support the channel and videos just like this one. So again, thank you!